Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Sherry and Rowena and this is Brian Francis. And today we are outside in a snowy pit. In a snowy pit. This actually reminds me of a message that we heard from Pastor Tony Miller. Long, long time ago. Years ago about one single verse. Yeah, one verse in the Bible. I don't know how he managed to do it, but he preached an entire 50 minute message or probably an hour message at that time all on one verse and this verse came out of you can read it in second uh second samuel 23 or, verse 20 or first chronicles 11 verse 22 yes and it says benaniah was a son of jehodiah how was that pronounced where are you reading right here it says the son of Je jehoiada 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 the son of a valiant man from cab Kabzeel, who had done many deeds. He had killed two lion-like heroes of Moab. And he had also gone down and killed a lion in the midst of a pit on a snowy day. And this is where we want to start. So this man, Benayah, he was actually from a long line of valiant men. Mm -hmm. And he was one of David, King David's servants. Yep. And so here we just want to just dive into the man that he was and how he served his king with his whole heart. Absolutely. You want to start? Sure. Yeah. So the first thing that I want to talk about is how it says that he went down. So he was not afraid to get into the low places, the dark, dingy dungeons. It says he went down into a cistern or a, a dungeon-like thing. And when we were in Israel, we actually went into a cistern. And you have to walk down this spiral staircase that's along the inside of this deep, deep well. And, and that's how you get into it. And it says that he went into that cistern and he killed this lion. Absolutely. In another translation, it actually says that he chased the lion into the pit. You That's know, I mean, cool. how many of you are out there, you know, in the midst of trials and storms and you see a lion out there in the street and do you run away from it or no, not Ben and I. Ben and I was like, hey, you know what? I'm chasing down that lion. That's right. And that brings us to the second thing, which is that he killed the lion. Mm -hmm. So we all have things in our lives that, you know, try to look like these big monstrous things and, and that they can threaten to attack us and threaten to devour us. But the thing is, is just like Pastor Brian said, he went after that lion mm -hmm. and he killed that lion. And it was in the pit. You know, most of the time we're always trying to just crawl our way out of the pit, but not Ben and I. He was running into the pit. He was running into the pit after his adversary, a lion, that day. And he was like, you know what? This pit's not going to take me out. The lion's not going to take me out. I'm going in and I'm going to kill it. That's right. And so that brings us to the next part, which is talking about on a snowy day. Snow. How many know that the conditions of your life are not always going to be favorable? It's not always going to be the perfect day for you to go out and slay your giants. And, but you know, when Benaniah, when he went out, he actually, it was a snowy day and he chased this lion through the snow mm -hmm. into that pit to kill him. Absolutely. It was slippery. It was, you know, I mean, snow was cold, but I mean, he, he didn't use this. You, <laughs> you know what? I think what's really, you know, uh, getting to me at this moment is the fact that, you know, I, I'm, I'm squatting and I probably should just be kneeling in the snow. And, uh, you know, it's the, <laughs> we'll see if I can manage to get up after we finish this video today. But I uh, know he was, he was there and he, he wasn't using the snow as something that was going to, um, you know, deter him from what needed to be accomplished. You know, snow often is representative of, you know, God's cleansing and his, uh, retribution and things that he uses often yeah. in the Bible biblically uh, with snow. And so on that snowy day, freedom was brought. That's right. And so today we just want to encourage you guys that as you are facing your giants in, in life, as you are facing those lions that seem like they're going to devour you, chase after them, slay them in a snowy pit on or in a deep pit on a snowy <laughs> day. And uh, so, you know, it's just some encouragement. You guys come from a long line of valiant mm -hmm. warriors. That's right. And that is inside of you because Jesus Christ is our Lord and he is the most valiant. So he is on the inside of us. Mm -hmm. And so we have his very power to be able to live out this life, to be able to slay our giants and to be able to live life more abundantly. Go kill your giants. Go kill your lions in the pit. Okay, now we have
have to slide the line. Okay. Ah, shit. Oh, squat that long. <laughs> now I'm going to get this jacket here from the lion. Ah. 